Hi everybody, welcome back to Something Reborn Thursdays. With me, my name is Birgit Heffler. I'm the owner and designer of Something From Somewhere, Organically Reborn Furniture and Decor. I go live every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time and I try to show you uh, how to make something old and make it beautiful again. I find things in Goodwills, thrift stores, and I just give them a new life. Uh, and then I put them on my website or sell them um, on my shop. So I hope that if you do like all these videos, please follow me, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, also something from somewhere. And uh, then, um, you know, just, I would totally appreciate it. And any, any suggestions, anything that you guys wanna learn, please do let me know, send me a message. Uh, my website is somethingfromsomewhere.com and you can reach me also at info at somethingfromsomewhere.com. So today what we're doing is part two. Last week we did part one of painting a secretary's desk in one color. I wanted to start from the beginning to end. Uh, I've done a few videos already in the past and showing you different techniques. So I decided that and also by demand from some of you, to take you from the beginning to the end and this time painting a piece of furniture. So I picked this uh, really cute secretary's desk that was actually uh, gifted to me by a girlfriend of mine. And um, it's really cute. We started painting it last week uh, with Country Chic, which is the paint that I use by um, the color called Dune Grass. It is right here, let me bring it out. Dune Grass by Country Chic. It's a really cute, very sweet, kind of uh, well, green, minty, but with a gray tone color. This is what you see here. And um, I painted the inside with this white color. It is also with a gray, of, a, a gray tone, excuse me, and it's called Grinolin. It's one of my favorite colors to work with. It's a beautiful white, but it's not a fluorescent white. It has a gray tone, so it's very deep, very nice. And so this is what I did. I started with the piece, showing you from the beginning how to clean it all, always. Start by really, really cleaning it with vinegar and water is what I use. It's the best and quite natural, which I enjoy. And we did one coat. To, I did earlier a second coat, for the sake of the video, because sometimes you know it just takes too long, one hour goes by super fast. So I went ahead and did a second coat so you guys could see just in one color um, what it looked like. And then I did only one coat. Let me bring you down a little bit. I hope you guys can see from there. Is that a good angle right there? All right. So right here, I did the crinoline color. In white I left this in natural and I think I will it looks kind of sweet a little bit of the variations in the tones I've only done one coat in the inside and then again very easy just cleaning it there's no need for sanding priming absolutely anything and just make sure that it's really clean I always use vinegar and water I put it in a spray bottle I spray my pieces clean them really good and then again, with another wet, damp cloth, I clean over it and make sure it's nice and dry. If it has any oils, anything that is left behind from the years of usage, it's gonna come through the paint. And that's what we're trying to avoid, okay, when we do that. Thanks, Sergey. it's a great angle. Okay, awesome, thank you. And Sean, welcome, Sean, thanks for watching. So now, um, you know, we've cleaned it, we've painted with one color outside, one color inside, just to give it a little bit of variation. I could have done it the same color, but just to show you how easy it is to paint. Um, all, the only things I used were my brush here, which is a synthetic. It's called Create by Paint Pixie number 10. And again, for those that are just coming in, it was Dune Grass by Country Chic and Crinoline. This is my other beautiful color, crinoline, which is this beautiful white with a gray tone. That is it. That's all we've done so far, okay? Now, I wanted to continue by adding a transfer. So, for you guys that don't know what a transfer is, um, there are these gorgeous, and I'm gonna lift up the 
camera again so you could see that I have some up here you could see these here these little tubes here and these here these are called IODs they're by iron orchid designs these are transfers they're like big stickers that you can add to your furniture to give it this just beautiful like almost like a painting that you've painted but you haven't it. it's like a sticker and you place them and then you rub them and they stay on so I wanted to show you what that's gonna look like with this piece and I was thinking I had some of you say ah, some letters or I don't know something since it's a little you know dread you know desk secretary's desk um, I was thinking like adding some transfers that have lettering on and I actually just got this great huge shipment I was very lucky that I caught on to it as fast as I could because usually when they come out they're gone these are the transfers the same from the IOD sisters but they're a first generation of uh, transfers and they just come out once in a while they're actually a limited stock so they just came in a few days ago and at the perfect time because I have the one that I actually wanted to use I thought it would look really really cute on this piece so I want to show you how to do that if you guys have any questions or if you're tuning in let me know where you're at I always love to know what cities you're watching from so please stay from where I love to to find out and and hopefully you guys are not as hot as I am so if you look at me a little shiny I apologize I'm in Florida and it's super humid it's been raining all weekend and today and wow it, and I'm in a warehouse workshop that's my studio so I'm a little hot today <laughs> so bear with me um, if you hear the sound in the back it's also the fan so this is the um, IOD that I'm thinking about it's really beautiful look at this so this is a transfer and this is what I want to put inside the dresser and I'll bring it closer once we get to that part okay because I still do have to paint it again I haven't done a second coat so I'm gonna do one hopefully it'll dry quickly with this humidity this is one great thing about Florida that you don't really have to wait too long for it to dry because things dry very fast sometimes too fast that I have to use my bottle my spray bottle to wet the paint again um, all right so I'm going to do the second coat of here in the meantime if we get to the waxing part which will be sealing the piece we'll get to that if not I apologize I wanted to do it in two parts but we may have to do three parts you just never know how these things go hi Oneida how are you welcome that's awesome thanks for being here um, all right so let's see I am going to paint this here oh one thing I forgot to mention do you guys recall the last time this this piece let me close it up real quick have a drawer that I took out and I did paint already and I took the hardware off it's always easier that way so that you really paint it nicely and I wanted to show you how the hardware came out this was something that I showed you the last time I took out the hardware and the way I clean them this is just a trick in case you want the guys to try it with any of your furniture when they start looking really dull and ugly um, there's no need for really buying any kind of chemicals you know in the, in the stores and trying to buff this off can be a real pain in the butt and not it's very toxic actually I don't I don't enjoy it at all but I've discovered and we use a lot um, in the business to clean the hardware with vinegar so I leave the hardware overnight in a jar and I showed you this in the last video so watch it if, if you missed it and you just drop all the hardware in here and you leave it overnight you know really as long as you want I mean it doesn't have to be over one night 24 hours is actually more than enough and then the hardware that was like old and dull 
comes out beautiful. You just pull it out and with the cloth, you just kind of buff it and all the debris and all the oldness and all the, I don't know, the, you know, from the years of being just dead and just not being used, um, it comes back to life and it looks beautiful and natural. If you're gonna paint it, that's different, but let's say if you wanna keep it just as is, just put it in vinegar overnight, white vinegar, and then just buff it the next day, rinse it off, and it's good to go. So hopefully by the next video, I'm just gonna put it on. I'll show you guys once you know I'm done with them and take pictures so you can see how beautiful they look at the end. So just vinegar, again, in a jar. Okie dokie, all right, awesome. So I haven't taken them out actually. Let me see, you see this? this I'm gonna pull it out right now. Look at this. So this is already after it's been cleaned out. This one I haven't, so look at the difference. But this has been already overnight with the vinegar. So I can try to buff it a little bit and see how it looks. If I feel like it needs to go and stay longer, I just put it back in the jar and leave it, you know, a few hours or another night. You won't hurt the hardware at all. It's, you know, it's natural, it's vinegar. But look how beautiful the difference is. Cool, huh? I know, I like it. So just, let's just see what this looks like. So you see what it looks like? And let me try to buff it up. So anybody in there? You guys, have you guys tried to do any, any painting that you've never done before and now all of a sudden, you know, you find yourself finding other means of entertainment and trying to learn new, new things, new stuff, painting especially. Obviously, that's my thing here. So I'd love to know if you guys have tried it and if you've painted anything lately. Any attempts to painting any furniture in your home? Huh? So, wow, take this out. Did you see how it looked before? Look at this. Super awesome, huh? So this is gonna look really pretty once it's on the, on the drawers. All right. They actually look a little bit different, but that's the beauty of things. Look at this, it's kind of two different colors. One is kind of silver and the other one's still kind of bronze. No idea why. Should be interesting. Probably put them both back in for a little longer. See what happens. So I want to get started on this piece. So what do you guys think about this? Do you like this transfer? Should I use this one? I was thinking inside and in here. I'll bring you in closer so you can see what I'm talking about. If you've never used transfers, they're the best. They're so easy and they make such a difference. So I thought maybe, you know, like, this is the secretary clothes, and when you open it, you have some lettering inside. I think it'll look really nice. Okay, so let's just start painting here. If you have any questions, you guys, I'm more than happy to answer. I'm not that close. So. Well, sorry, sorry, sorry for all that. Sorry for moving the camera. You guys want to make sure you're good there. And I can read your comments. Come up a little bit higher. So I don't know about doing anything with, this is like the area where you put the letters and it has like a little space here for like a pencil. I thought I would leave it that color. It looks pretty cool instead of painting it in white. You know, it's also one of those types of spaces that you have to get into all the little nooks and crannies and it's not like the funnest part to do. So, 
so I'll see if I do it. So you want to, when you open the Country Chic, it's a clay-based paint. It's really, really rich. Uh, very high pigmented. It's all natural, environmentally friendly, biodegradable. It's very nice and thick. So you want to, before you start, always just kind of steer it a little bit inside. Make sure that it's really well mixed. And, you know, then you just start painting. I suggest that you always pour whatever amount you're going to use in a different container. I'm not doing it right now because I'm kind of at, almost at the end of it. And I'm going to be using this a lot. I paint a lot of things in white. Um, but, you know, do put it in a little container and use as you go so you don't contaminate it. Okay? All right. So this is crinoline. This was in pretty great condition. It's very, it's old. It was my girlfriend. She gifted it to me, like I said, you guys at the beginning. And um, I think she's gonna want it back when I'm done. <laughs> she's not getting it back. <laughs> anyway, it still wobbles a little bit, but I don't see that there's anything wrong. I just think that maybe like one of the legs May, may be a little bit shorter than another. Um, but otherwise, it's in pretty great condition. So, I want to show you something that happens with the clay paint and if you do come around a situation where you find the paint is drying on you very fast, we use um, the spray bottles that have a mist. You can find them at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna be carrying them soon, so if you wanna check them out. But they have this continuous um, type of misting. I don't know if you can see from here. And uh, very light. But you just really just spray a little bit and it helps smooth, you know, the paint out again. And it's great for not leaving any uh, brush strokes. So if you feel that the paint is true dry and it's nice and thick, you can reactivate it with just a little bit of water. I recommend a spray bottle with a mist than a spray bottle. It's very different the way that they spray. Are you guys okay there? All right, cool. Hi, Christine, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for the, for the compliment. Yeah, the color is called Dune Grass by Country Chic. I hope you guys can see well there and I'm not blocking you. It's a clay-based paint. It's really, really beautiful. This is a crinoline. It's a Dune Grass. It's like a greenish, bluish color. Very subtle, but very, very nice. So for those that are tuning in, I am just uh, revamping this old secretary's desk and uh, showing you how easy it is to use country chic paint. I've really just cleaned it and painted it. I've done two coats on the outside and now I'm doing a second coat inside. I haven't gotten to it. And I want to put a transfer by IOD, and hopefully we get to show you that. I'm sorry if it's a little wobbly. I have it on a carpet here and trying to. Let me see if I can go to this other side. You can see me better. Good. So I was asking earlier for any of you guys, have you ever um, tried to do any kind of furniture painting at home? And what paints have you used? Have you ever tried clay?
So you want to do a very light first coat. I suggest not thick because it takes longer to dry, but overall the finish looks much nicer when you take your time and you do a few layers. This paint is very rich, so you probably won't need more than two, depending on obviously the color underneath and if you're using a light color. But usually, two coats is plenty. Sorry, I'm gonna use my misting spray bottle because it is really, like I told you guys, it's very hot right now in Miami. Well, I'm in Florida, not Miami, but I keep saying Miami kind of like a natural thing I moved from there hi Christine welcome so um, it's very hot here and the paint has a tendency to dry very fast which is not such a bad thing but sometimes you just really need to keep that water bottle bottle nearby because you use it often and that way you also save on paint believe it or not it's so thick that if you just mist it with water, it just reactivates it, and you really don't need to be dipping constantly on the paint. Hi, Madonna, welcome. Good to see you here. Thanks for being here. I'm teaching you guys how to paint this little old secretary's desk. And just using one color paint, and how easy it is to change the look of any old pieces that we might be having at home running around that we don't know what to do with. We can't get rid of it because it's a sentimental value. Maybe some family member gave it to us, and, uh, but we don't like it. So this is a great way to just give it a new life. And it's actually, I find it to me beautiful and much better than going out and buying pieces that are just particle wood and cost a fortune and have no charm at all. <laughs> Madonna, you're so adorable. Are you back in Florida? Or not yet? Let me know when you get here so we can meet up. All right, so. I'm waiting for this area to dry so I can do the transfer. So I'm not gonna paint this little part because it is very tedious and I think it actually looks beautiful with the three color tones. It kind of accentuates the letter part or you put the pencils. Um, and then, you know, just clean it up because if you guys can see through the inside of the little holes, you have some of the paint coming through, but I can always clean it. This paint is so easy with just a cloth, damp cloth with water that you can just go over the paint and take off anything that came out on the sides. It's very easy. It's very manual. It's, it's easy to clean up and it's all water-based as well. So like it's easy to wash it. You can get it on your clothes and your hands. It's non-toxic. So you can paint indoors, nothing to worry about. You're in, oh my gosh, I know Franklin, Tennessee. It's my favorite. Oh, so awesome, good for you. I actually did a training there for painting uh, last year and um, Franklin, Tennessee is a beautiful little town and we were down the street actually. I was in a camp, a boot camp for painting and it was there in Tennessee in Franklin. Very cool, very cool Madonna. Hi, Anne. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome. So, part two, you guys, of this really cute dress, secretary's desk. We're getting some water. So, don't worry if any, any, any like mess up comes out, like you know, with the paint, you can always damp cloth, take it off. So. We do this side here. So Anne, how are you doing? Anne is a good friend of mine and 
great follower and sharer and supporter and I believe you opened your own shop. No, you have also a place that you just opened up. Your booth. Yeah? We'd love to know more about it. What's the name of it, if you want to share? And so everybody also can check out your page. All right, this is drying so fast. So misting it with water. And then you can just go over the paint. So while I'm doing this, really what I'm trying to do is wait for this front part to dry and in here before I put the transfer on. Hi, Claudia. Hey, 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 looking good, thanks. So, this is the desk. You just came in, this is the secretary's desk. And uh, we already did the, well, I went ahead and did a second coat for the sake of the video. It's called Dune Grass by Country Chic Paint. So last video we did one and I did a second coat. Now I'm doing the inside with crinoline. Also by Country Chic, it's a clay-based all-in-one decor paint. Um, Non-toxic, all natural, and now I am just doing a second coat in the inside. I want to put a transfer. I'll show you which one I am looking to put for those that are just turning in. What do you think, Claudia? So I'm thinking, you know, this is when it's closed. I haven't put the drawer in, but when you open it, we put this inside. So. It's too wet, but I'm thinking kind of like halfway in and halfway out. So it looks, since it's a little secretary's desk, you know, just very simple, but very, very elegant, very sweet. Yeah? Awesome, you like it. I'm not gonna do this part, because I think this is, looks nice like that. And it's also a bit kind of pain in the butt to go going through all the little crevices, but I think I like the variety of the tones and the colors. It's subtle and a knife so i'm just waiting for the paint to dry a little bit before we do that and i was also explaining you guys um if you're not used to using the spray bottles they're awesome with this paint um they mist and uh, they actually reactivate the paint when it dries so much especially in florida it's very dry very humid right now so the paint's has a tendency to dry very, very fast. And it doesn't like flow when you're painting. So if you spray a little bit of water, then again, you give it a little bit of smoothness and it helps you just, you know, put the paint easier on. And also use less paint because it's so rich that a little bit actually goes a long way. So you can just like I do here, just wet it, wet the brush or wet the paint, the piece and then you, brush it over. So, I know this is a little bit intricate in here, but it's gonna look very cute. Sometimes with white, you may have to go over more than one coat. And I think we all know that, you know, the white is a light color and the underneath part was dark. So sometimes you need more than two coats, usually two coats does it, but with light colors, you may need a third coat. Now, if for any reason, paint comes out, it's very easy. Hey, David, how are you? David's gonna love it, awesome. <laughs> yeah, so, like, you know, like here it came out a little bit, 
you can just go over it with a little wet cloth. The other paint is dry already and the new paint is still a little wet so when it's wet it's very easy to take it off. So do you guys think I should distress it a little bit? Like uh, I want to do a little bit of distressing here and waxing to accentuate this piece. I was thinking maybe white wax the whole piece or just do a white wax here and do clear wax on the outside. What do you guys think? Distressing it and doing clear coat or distressing it and using white wax. What's the verdict? Give me a I feel, what do you think? So let's hope this dries here. Still a little wet. Here is still a little wet. Any suggestions? I'm waiting for this part to dry. So clear wax, so what clear wax, well I'm sorry, not clear wax, um, clear coat, it would accentuate the color because it kind of deepens the color. Obviously it seals it and protects it. Do you think I should distress it a little bit and make it look kind of vintage with certain areas with the wood showing or clean and neat like this is better? Distress maybe a little bit of this here. Mm, thinking about the white wax, yeah. I think the white wax will look pretty. It just kind of softens it and gives it some depth. I'm leaving it open so it dries a bit. I should have maybe painted this before so that we could uh, do the transfer back. How about distressing it? Do the stencil. I'm not doing a stencil, Claudia. I'm going to do a transfer. I don't know if I showed you. Maybe you just came in after I mentioned it, but... You see this? This is a transfer. It's like a big sticker. I'm gonna cut it because I want half of it to kind of go inside and the other half come a little bit here. So when you open it, you have these letters. What do you think? Yeah, these are transfers. Stencil is more of like um, a, a cutout where you use paint and you tap into it for you know, whatever design is underneath it to come out. This is just rubbing it. Um, it's actually easier, I think. <laughs> and it's really beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I was thinking of doing some flowers outside too as well maybe, but I think it'll look nicer just kind of clean and neat with the letters inside. You know, it's like a vintage, elegant secretary desk. So I wanna keep it with like the times. Yeah, what do you think? All right, so you know what, let's, um, I'm gonna close it up, I hope I get to, or oh, you know what, I'm gonna do this part. This part is dry already, I think I'm good on this. This one is still wet, but maybe I can do it here. So, I'm gonna do this one, and I'm gonna cut it. So I'm thinking, in the middle, if I like do maybe the inside, let's see up to here, and then this other letter is here. Hold on, let's see. Right. So you know what? I'm gonna cut this here. So I'm gonna cut it. I can show you guys how this works. part is still kind of wet so I'm gonna wait and I want to do the bottom hold on one second let me see where my okay so they come with this tool it's a little plastic tool in each of the tubes of the transfers 
So I'm just going to line it off here, I think, in the middle. Can you guys see? I'll bring you closer. And I'll show you how this goes. Are you good there? All right. So let me see. I hope I'm not blocking you. But I want to put it in the middle. I'm thinking this other part up here. Not yet, though. It's still kind of wet. Actually, this part up here. And this part down here. See what I mean? Hi, Nikki. Awesome to see you here, girl. Welcome. I'm showing you guys how to do this small little dresser. Well, secretary. I keep saying dresser. I don't know why. Secretary's desk. We've painted it, and now I'm putting some transfers on it. And I'm thinking half and half here. You see? Yeah, there? Okay, cool. So what you do now is, once you come in, you really, you know how it, it comes with two parts? It's like a sticker. So you don't take the white part off this one until you're ready to come in because this part is a little bit sticky. And once you put it down, you're pretty much committed to it. So I'm going to hopefully, I'm not blocking you, but I'm trying to find the right angle here for this and center it. So then, there you go. You just kind of ah, squeeze it down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so you put it down. I'm going to get a little bit of tape just in case. <laughs> just to keep it in place. So now what you do is rub. So they all come with this little plastic tool and you just rub, 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 rub down. So hey, Claudia, you're saying hi to Nikki? <laughs> Nikki, saying hi to Claudia, that's awesome you guys. Thanks for watching. So Claudia, I haven't seen your finished chairs. Want to see what they look like? I know you were doing them and they came out great. I mean, you started them. I know they look great. So, okay. So, the idea is this. Let me see. I hope. Oh, I don't think the paint is still dry enough, you guys. Ah! All right. It may be a little bit still too wet for the transfer to come through, so let's wait. Carla, hi. Yeah, they're called transfers, Carla. Um, these are by IOD, Iron Orchid Designs. This is like the first generation. I just posted them and put them up on the website. They're limited stock, so like once they come out, they sell, they're done. And uh, they go pretty quickly. People love them, and um, I was very lucky to get my hands on a few of them. So this is what's happening. This, you guys, is still the wet, the paint is too wet. Ah! So this is what happens, well, a little bit of it. You should wait. I just painted it. I should have planned this, you know, better because I painted. I wanted to show you guys how to paint the inside and how easy it was. So I might not be able to do this right now. So we painted it twice, just like I promised, you know, one color and I went through all the details how to do it um, from beginning to end. So pretty much now is just wanting to put the transfer, but I just finished painting the inside and it's still not dry. So the transfer is oof, still not going through. They're usually very easy. You just rub them and come off, but it has to be drier. So I apologize. Um, this is having a little bit of a hard time. I mean, I can try, but I just wanted to show you guys. So what you do with this is just rub. 
And you see how it stays underneath? Now, it doesn't always have to be perfect because if you just stress it a little bit inside, then it starts looking kind of vintage and that's kind of like the cool part of it. But obviously it has to transfer. So these are the things that do happen sometimes in lives. But you know what, let's, I can't lift it off now. Can you see a little bit coming out? Yeah. All right, so you know what? Let's leave this for now. Let me come back to that while the paint dries a little longer. Not that it's not doing it, but I don't want to scratch the piece. Okay, maybe this part is better now. Hold on. Let me see if I can get away with that. Okay, it's coming through. I should have waited longer. I mean, I did do, you know, the, the weather is very, very um, hot here in Florida, so the paint does dry quicker than normal, but uh, still you should. Whenever you paint a piece and you're gonna put a uh, transfer on, do wait until the piece is totally dry. I would definitely say, you know, wait at least an hour, you know, before. Um, usually, uh, you know, overnight is best. But, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm trying to show you and, uh, you know, I should wait a little bit longer. Um, well, yeah, well, what happens if it's wet, obviously, you can rub and the transfer doesn't stick, Carla. Um, so you should wait for the paint to be totally dry before you put the transfer. The transfer... Um, once it's on, we're gonna seal it anyways because you're gonna seal the piece. So that's also going to be like an extra adhesion to the transfer. And uh, yeah, and it should come off, you know, very easily by rubbing. It's just, you know, this is still a little bit, it's dry, but it's, it's you know what I mean? It's not uh, fully like, hasn't been dry for a couple of hours or an hour. I pretty much painted it as I was speaking with you guys. So do recommend that you wait some more. I mean, it's, these are an older generation also transfers. They're great, they're beautiful, um, but they don't have as much of the sticky stickiness as the newer ones. So they're an older generation. So they do, they're very delicate. They're beautiful and very delicate. You should, you know, do it when it's definitely dry. With the other ones, for some reason, I can get away with it more. Maybe because they're a little bit more sticky than this one. And it's working, it's just that I'm having to rub really hard and that's not necessarily what you know you wanna do. So let's see how far I can go, just so you guys can see. I'll probably just get to this one because like this, oh my goodness. You definitely build muscle, that's for sure. So what you do and the way that you know it's transferring is that when you rub, on it, it starts becoming kind of translucent. And that means that the transfer, you know, transferred pretty much. So let's see. If when you lift and you see that it hasn't transferred over to your piece, you can always place it down and rope over it again. It's gonna look really cute. So have you tried painting, Carla? I know you've been watching a lot of the videos. I'm just curious to know if you have dared to tackle any pieces at home. All right, oh, awesome, okay. So, look, you guys. Can you see? Cute, huh? All right, let me, let me keep going. So, I'm gonna 
I'm thinking that I'm going to distress it a little bit. Not too much. Because I kind of don't want it to be too much farmhousey, but a little bit more like French country. I think that's the look I'm going for. But what do you guys think? And uh, distressing it a little bit and doing some white wax. For sealing it or sealing it with clear. So the difference is the white just kind of gives it more depth. And uh, just clear is kind of just more plain. I think we've been working with the white wax and I think it will look really beautiful if we do the white wax. Let's continue with that one so you guys can get the whole idea. Cool. Look, it's working now. I guess it's drying more. My paint is drying more. All right. So I'm definitely going to wait for the inside because I don't want to have that trouble in there. But I'll show you the finished you know, piece once we do it, once we're done. I wanted to show you what the transfer, how it works. So these are, I just got a whole new um, inventory that just came in with a bunch of new limited edition, limited stock of these and all kinds of different styles and colors. So if you guys want to check them out, they're already up on the website. I do sell them and the website is somethingfromsomewhere.com. I've also placed a really large order of paint should be coming in. They, they are taking long. I do apologize um, because, you know, they're backed up from all the corona. So it's going to take at least two weeks for them to get here. So if you do see something online, any paints from Country Chic that are sold out, send me a message and I'll let you know when they're going to be arriving. But I will 99.9% .9 have all the colors available, but it's going to take at least another two weeks, hopefully sooner, but at least two weeks. So just check randomly. And, um, and if I don't have it, you know, I'll sure make sure that once I receive it, I'll let you know that they're here. So. They're really fun to work with. Yeah, 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 the outside piece. I know, I remember, um, Carla, that you told me about that piece. You showed me pictures, and I didn't hear back, so I didn't know if you've done something with it or not. Um, I think it would look really cool if you paint it, but you do have to uh, put a sealer for outside. If it's gonna be, you know, with the rain and Florida weather, that it'll get ruined. But yeah, okay. it's just really a matter of doing it. I know you work, <laughs> so the time is also a big part of it, but it's fun. And it makes things look beautiful that you did it. So, okay guys, look at this. So I think we're good. Voila. You see? What do you think? Looks beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for the second part, but you guys get the idea how the transfer went on. We painted the piece, put the transfer on. This is still kind of wet, so I'm not gonna risk it, but this is the other part I'm gonna be putting in, you know, around here. So when you open it, it's kind of like a, you know, like a, it's a secretary's desk, so it's like a letter inside. I think it'll look adorable. So that's what it looks like. What, what did I use? Claudia, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding. Thank you, the, the transfer is called, um, it's an 11 by 14 and it's called Memoirs. I have them on my website. So it comes in this sheet, is at 11 by 14, and you saw that I cut it. So, you know, you can cut these. 
for wherever you want. If you want to cut a little, just the top, and put the top and move them around, you can. So in this case, I cut it in half because I want to put a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the inside. And there's so many, I mean, there's like tons. I'll show you up here what I got. There's flowers and, well, these are molds and stamps right here, but on this side is where I have all the transfers. So all those tubes that you see up there are transfers, flowers and birds and lemons and all kinds that, oh my goodness, you can just, and those are really huge. That's where I did the mirror. If you guys saw me in a previous video, how I showed you how to do a transfer and, and made this old mirror into this gorgeous picture with a transfer. The tool, they come in the box, Claudia. So all those tubes and all these little boxes, they come inside with this tool. So it's a little plastic, you know, stick, but the edges at the top help rub off the transfer. And the transfers can go on anything. It doesn't have to be just furniture. They can go on the wall, they can go on, on metal pieces, on anything that you want to give it like a, a beautiful look or a decorative art to it. And it looks like you painted it, but you know, professionally, you know, as an artist and you know, the, it, the things that you can do with them are endless and super easy and beautiful, beautiful. So you really, what you do is after you paint anything or any piece or wherever it's gonna go, you know, that the surface is clean and that it's the way you want it. And uh, then you just put the transfer on. Um, if it's gonna be in a location that, you know, there's gonna be no use or touching of it, you don't really have to seal it. But, you know, if it's on furniture, um, of course you wanna seal it. So just to make sure that, you know, it stays on nice and um, it's sealed. Oh yeah, Cla uh, Carla, you didn't see, I've gotta show you this. I have it right here. I did a video on a mirror. It was a black, you know, mirror, square, rectangular, no big deal mirror. I painted it in white. I distressed it and I did this huge transfer and put it in the middle. You didn't see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. I'll sh I have it right here, actually. Let me close it and see if this helps. I have it right here. So look at this. I'm gonna move the camera back, you guys. I hope you can see, because obviously it's a mirror, so there's a, probably a reflection. You see this? Yep. So this was black. Painted it, distressed it, sealed it. And uh, I cleaned the mirror really well, and then we put a transfer on. This was the one, yeah. Exactly, Carla, yeah, you did see it, awesome. So yeah, I mean, all these transfers, you can do it in any mirror, small, large, oval, rectangular, whatever. Um, even like on picture frames, little picture frames that, I don't know, you don't like or you don't wanna put a picture on. We can do that, I'll show you. Maybe we do a little uh, craft of uh, picture frames. And the cardboard, we can paint it so that the background is not like the cardboard, cardboard. You can paint it in whatever color, paint the frame, and then put a little transfer on the glass. And it looks adorable. It's really cute. Thank you, Claudia. Yeah, so this is one of the transfers, and this one is called um, Midnight Garden. So the same. Comes in this tube. And it's huge, it's quite large. This was a large mirror, so it was good. I didn't really have to cut too much. I still have a little bit of leftovers from like the, the ends that I can always use it in another project. So that's always awesome because you know you can cut them, you don't have to use the whole piece right away. But in, in a mirror like this, it almost fit. It looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So this was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Totally, I'm addicted to these transfers. I can't get enough of them. As you can see, I have like so many. Um, and, uh, you know, and all these other stuff that is back here. Oh my goodness. So we'll get to that some other day with more projects. <laughs> so I wanted to really make sure you guys 
know how to paint anything from beginning to end and really just get you going get you started not to be afraid and this is what's so amazing with these paints they're so they're so much fun and so easy and so neat and clean and non-toxic so they're really fun to create and uh, you can just it's endless what you can do so so we'll do this you know I'll probably do it on my own but I wanted you guys to get the idea and I think you do and it's gonna look really adorable um, so now what I want to do is probably, you know, distress this a little bit. Uh, this time I think I'm going to use, because we have been distressing with, you know, a wet cloth, which you can. This has been, you know, dried a little bit. It shouldn't be too hard, but it's really awesome how you can just use a wet cloth and it comes off. But I also wanted to show you the different technique if you were to use a sanding block. So, let me close this, hold on, I'm sorry. A 220, this is a 220 um, sanding block. They come like this or they come like this if you have a sanding machine. What I like to do is if I'm not using the sanding machine, I don't know, I just find it to be really nice. Um, when this like run out and they're not that I don't know scratchy anymore so I don't throw them out I keep using them by putting this on it and I just kind of grab it on the sides it's a really great idea and distressing is really just in details where you give it a little bit of sanding and it naturally comes off I'll show you here See how it starts coming off? Can you see good? All right, so let's see here. Just a little bit. You can always, again, wet cloth, you clean it off. Any of that leftovers like sand. And look how pretty that looks. You see? So you do as much or as little as you want. Okay, so what I wanna show you is the same technique that you do here. When you distress, you wanna do it in the corners, which is what makes it look natural. Sorry about the moving of the camera so much, but that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you wanna do it like in the corners and all the little ridges where it would naturally get like wear and tear. Just using it to 220 sanding block. This paint is really beautiful sanding or using wet distress or using just a wet cloth, how smooth when you sand it it becomes. There's really no need for it. Some people like it smooth, some people don't mind having it a little bit rustic. So that's really all about how or what look you're going for. So we'll do a little bit here. Definitely is great therapy. <laughs> this is my therapy. It's like a meditative state of relaxation. Even though you're, you know, it's my my job, but it doesn't feel like it. I love it and put the music on and you just start creating. It's fun. You're right, Carla. It is my therapy for sure. 
you know, I actually get angsty when I'm doing other stuff that I'm not wanting to do. It's like, I can't wait to get back to painting. It's like, I just want to paint, leave me alone. <laughs> So that's what I meant about like a little bit of distressing, just to give it some, you know, some depth. I hope that you can see it there. All right. What time is it? All right, you guys. So this was today's part two of the video. showing you how to put the transfer. We've already painted two coats in Dune Grass by Country Chic. And uh, inside I did crinoline, also by Country Chic. It's a white color. And we put this transfer. It's called Memoirs by IOD. And uh, the brushes that I used were by Paint Pixie. One of my favorite ones uh, to use is a synthetic one called Create, which is a number 10. It's a synthetic one. I do use a lot of natural bristle, but for this particular piece, and uh, sometimes when I use clay, I use the synthetic, uh, especially when the weather's so hot because the paint dries so quickly, so the synthetic helps me kind of like smooth it out. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You bake a lot, Carla. I know you like watch you do all these amazing, uh, wow, like plates and uh, cooking. I know is your thing. That was not rarely ever my thing, but I'm always wanting to learn new stuff. So I'm with you. You may take on painting, and I may take on cooking. Maybe one day you should do videos on your cooking. Then I learn from you. That'd be awesome. All right, you guys. So. I think I am done for today, and uh, I hope that, let me lift this up. I'm sorry I've moved you a lot today, but wanted to be able to show you the little piece, and I don't have it on a t high table. So, so again, just uh, we did part two of the secretary's desk, and uh, if you missed the beginning, please do go back, part one, where we first started, and I explained uh, what we needed from beginning, um, all the materials that you were going to use. And today was part two where I showed you how to add a transfer. So what we'll do just next week so we can be finally finished with this piece is wax it and um, show you what that looks like. Perhaps, or not sure, maybe I just do it and show you what it looks like, but I haven't shown you exactly the waxing part. So that's why I want you to see it. Um, you know, what waxing the depth that it does with the pieces and how beautiful it looks so anyway again thank you for being here all of you that showed up that's i come on every thursday at 5 p.m and i hope that i've inspired you to create something from somewhere and make it beautiful and see you next week take care and uh good night guys bye thank you